Uh, Sophia, yeah. <laughs> Sophia Nelson, I don't know if you've ridden the elevators at Trump Tower, but I will ask you about what Mark Meadows not. did yesterday. What did you think? Well, two things, Willie. First of all, it's important to put Mark Meadows into context. He's the man that said, and there's video for this, that we're going to send Barack Obama back to Kenya. That's what he said in 2012. So let's just frame it right there. So for him to try to say he's not a racist or has racial insensitivity is ridiculous on its face. Secondly, as a black woman and as a Republican mm -hmm. woman my entire life who served on that very committee that we watched on TV mm -hmm. yesterday as the first black person ever to work on that committee on the GOP side, I was horrified and appalled at my party for mm -hmm. not participating in, in their constitutional duty to ask questions. And secondly, to bring a black woman out, shame on Lynn, first yeah. of all, for agreeing to do it, but to bring a black woman out and have her stand there like she was on the auction block thank you and she couldn't talk she couldn't speak you couldn't swear her in and there's this visual exhibit a american people there's a black person here and we have a black person who can't tell you what she thinks will tell you how she feels and that'll prove that donald trump's not a racist is the most ridiculous ludicrous thing i've seen the republican party do in a really long time and that's saying a lot Oh, okay. And I just, uh, I'm upset. my personal opinion. Yeah, I hear you, <laughs> Sophia. And I would understand that. I feel the wrong person apologized. And yeah. I really, really, really am uncomfortable when women apologize, when they Absolutely, didn't do anything Mika. wrong, when they were just speaking their mind, when they yes. were speaking their truth. And when something that you just described happened actually happened. I think the wrong person apologized and if mark meadows wasn't acting and wasn't racist in his heart he has to understand how he made people feel in that moment and the instead thing, Mika, he cried and then he, he forced an apology out of yes. rashida talib yes. the whole thing felt extremely dysfunctional yes and the thing is for you to say i have biracial nieces I'm a black woman. I have biracial oh nieces who have a white mother. So for him to say that somehow because he's got nieces and nephews that are biracial and that means he can't be a racist is also ridiculous. Right. And, and the fact of the matter is, is that you're right, Mika. Uh, Congresswoman Tlaib was making the point that the prop itself was racist. And my article came out in the Daily Beast an hour or two before this testimony she made. And I called it a prop because that's exactly what it was. So she shouldn't have apologized to anybody for anything she right. said because she didn't say anything wrong. Well, yep. you